Okay, so um, I'll, sh I'll show you my lump. And some of you may have smaller lumps, some of you may have bigger lumps. Um, this is not my lump. This is a double chin that I'm working on getting rid of. Um, but this is the lump right here. As you can see, it's about this big. And it was measured at 4 centimeters. So, um, it's a little bit bigger. Um, when they did the, one of my questions was, did the ultrasound pick up enlarged lymph nodes? Because after doing some research, I found that, you know, of course it could spread. And one of the places it spreads first is your lymph nodes. And when your lymph nodes become um, cancerous, they are enlarged. And the ultrasound can usually pick that up. And that was one of the questions I asked him, and he said, no, the lymph nodes looked fine. There was no enlarged lymph nodes, but he is still going to go in and take ones that are closest to my thyroid, and just to be sure, and they're going to um, test those to make sure that it hadn't spread to there. Um, so that's a good thing. You know, that kind of eased my mind a little, I guess. Um, one other thing that I researched was natural thyroid hormone replacement. Um, of course, they want to prescribe you Synthroid, and I'm not too keen about having a synthetic drug the rest of my life. So I found another drug. It's called Armor, and it is a natural hormone replacement. It's made from pigs, and it has all your um, T1, T2, T3, T4, compared to Synthroid, which only has T3 and T4. I think. Don't quote me on the T3 and T4. I'm not for sure. I just know Synthroid only has two of the hormones compared to the four of Armor. And so why wouldn't I go with Armor? Why would I have less than what my body was making before? And so, you know, of course they, they're like, well, why do you want that? Because not a, a lot of doctors are educated about the natural replacement. But my doctor actually did say that he has prescribed armor, so he does know about it, which made me a little happy. And so I asked him if I could try that one first and see how that works, because I would definitely want to try the all-natural way before going the synthetic route. So he said he would do that. Um, I had taken... I had taken my husband and my boss, which is kind of funny, but my boss is like a best friend. She's a wonderful lady. She has helped me through pretty much anything I need help with. Um, she has kind of taught me um, different ways of eating. Um, her best friend died of um, cancer three years ago, and so she's all about healthy living and um, what you're eating, you know, are you eating to feed the cancer or are you eating to fight the cancer? And pretty much my whole life I've been eating to feed the cancer, to be honest. Um, I'm overweight. I haven't been overweight my whole life, but after, of course, high school and college, you know, I just ate whatever I wanted and didn't really think about it, of course. That's like most people. And so one of the websites that I'll give you talks about food as um, fighting cancer and there's a lot of people that are on this site that have fought cancer with food so she is a very big supporter and she keeps me in check when I'm at work um, ever since I've been diagnosed with cancer back in the end of December beginning of January um, I've changed everything. No more pop, no more fast food, no more no more red meat. I'm not a vegetarian. I still eat some chicken and some fish and but it's mostly fruits and vegetables and salads and I lost six pounds already, so that's good. And, and um after I get my thyroid removed and I'm clear to go work out, I'm gonna definitely hit the gym and get back in shape and take care of myself because that's a big part. And so she went with me with my husband to the doctor when I had all those questions and she had asked him if she, if he thought food was a contributor to cancer and he said not necessarily thyroid cancer but a lot of other cancers he did feel was a uh, was a contributor to cancer which 
that's what we were wanting to hear because of course the industry doesn't want you to think that you know food can be cancer causing and if you look at most of the food that everybody eats you can't even name most of the ingredients on there or sugar is the number one or second ingredient or third ingredient high fructose corn syrup or um, natural sugars are of course okay but we're only supposed to be eating I think um, I think seven teaspoons of sugar a day I think that's the what's recommended but the average American is eating 30 grams or 30 teaspoons of sugar a day four grams a teaspoon four grams of sugar is one teaspoon just a quick reference but yeah I was and I was probably one of those I was probably eating 30 teaspoons of sugar a day or more you know I mean I love my sweets and candy and um it's just, and you know, I, I had a moment where I broke down and I was like, wow, did I, did I do this to myself? Did I cause this cancer because of my eating habits? Um, and that's when I was like, I'm just going to change everything. Everything is going to change. And, you know, I, I guess I'll never know if I did cause it or if it's just something that, you know, my genetics or, but going forward, I'm definitely going to be eating to fight the cancer. So, sorry I'm getting a little teary-eyed, but um, like I said, I had a moment there where it just all came crashing down and it was like, wow, I, I, it definitely could have been the reason why I got this cancer, for sure. So, so um, just a couple days ago, I contacted... Lamont Healthcare, which is an all-natural healing center, and I spoke to a couple of doctors there. We had a phone consultation, and because I was just trying to see if um, had anybody had, I guess, cured their cancer with food, and he told me that he hasn't seen that that um, people have, you know, have had the surgery and had. Um, the cancer removed and they had been um, free of cancer because of their way of changing their diet and he said he was going to put a plan together for me and which is fine I mean I'm kind of I think I'm on the right track I'm not eating no junk food and like I said lots of fruits and vegetables I got a Nutri Ninja for Christmas and it's like the best thing ever um, my boss has a, a Nutri Bullet and it works just as just is fine. So, recommend getting one of those if you are willing to change your food because, like I said, you can you can make pretty much anything and it and it tastes fine. And you get all your fruits and vegetables and you get to drink it and be over with. So, um, after surgery, they're gonna want to have to make me take that radioactive iodine which I don't want to do really. I don't want to put something radioactive in my body and I've seen other women on YouTube that have opted not to get that. I have actually contacted one through Facebook um, and she opted not to have it and she's doing fine. Um, I don't know. I don't know yet what I'm going to do. I don't know if I should do it. Um, I know you got to kind of stay away from people for a couple days um, can't be around any children but I'm not for sure um, the nurse practitioner of my doctor actually had thyroid cancer too and she talked to me about it when I went for my last uh, visit before my surgery she said everything is gonna be fine um, you know she says she's gonna come visit me the following day in the hospital it's gonna be either her or the doctor to come and release me so but, you know, she assured me I'll be okay because the doctor that's doing my surgery is actually the one that did her surgery. So, I feel a little better. I mean, he's been doing this for 25 years and hopefully he knows what he's doing. Um, I'm a little worried about anesthesia. Just, you know, I guess for movies I've watched where you get put under and you think, well, they think you're asleep, but... 
you're just paralyzed, you can still feel everything. So I got to not think about that because my surgery is tomorrow morning. So I have to kind of get that out of my mind. Um, I don't know. I just, I, I know it's, it's hard for everybody that's going through this and it's difficult. Um, it's scary. I, I mean, I've never taken, I've, like I said, I barely have ever been sick my whole life and barely ever take any pills. Maybe once in a while, Tylenol, but now, you know, I got to take a pill the rest of my life every day. And I got to, the scar isn't the big issue for me. I don't mind the scar at all. Um, it's just, you know, reoccurrence. That's what I'm worried about is it being re um, coming back. And the doctor said that, you know, it's a very good prognosis of it not recurring. He said, you know, it's a high 95% and plus range of it, you know, being cured. Still, it worries me, you know. Um. I don't know if you want to ask any questions, you know, feel free. I will answer them to the best as I can. Like I said, my surgery is scheduled for tomorrow morning at 7.30. Um, they said the surgery is going to take two to three hours, and then I'll be in recovery for an hour before anybody can come see me. So no food after midnight tonight, which is fine. I don't eat that late anyway. Um... They want me to take a urine test, of course, in the morning to make sure I'm not pregnant. So, And I can't drink no water, so when I get up in the morning, I have to hold it until I get to the hospital. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll add some of the links to some of the websites that I found that you can take a look at. Um, one of them is, well, actually, you know, of course, all of them are free, but the one that is, like, the big one is a really helpful site, and it's just really given me a lot of information and I've been able to watch other women's videos about thyroid cancer and what they did and there's just so much helpful information on there so if you don't already know it you know just take a look at it share it it's really I think it's really beneficial so okay I'll make another video and next week maybe Tuesday Wednesday um, hopefully I don't lose my voice and I'm able to talk okay. I'll let you know how everything goes. Hopefully it's a minimal amount of pain because like I said, I'm horrible with pain. So, all right, just hang in there, everyone. Take care. Um, I know what you're going through. I know your struggle and it's very scary. So, but you'll be okay. All right. All right, everybody. Take care.